Managing projects is no easy feat. Today, I'll show you how to set priorities, align on goals, manage resources, and more with our project management workflow. Let's get started. With this workflow, we'll use a high-level board to track the big picture, a low-level board for managing tasks, and a dashboard for monitoring our KPIs. Let's start with our high-level project board. Here, we're using our groups as stages and items as activities. In this case, activities are larger tasks that can be broken down into smaller tasks on our low-level board. More on this later. From there, we've added a people column for assigning activities, status columns for progress and priority, a timeline column to manage deadlines, and a numbers column for tracking expenses. To stay on top of due dates, try enabling deadline mode. By linking your timeline and status columns, you can quickly identify upcoming deadlines and overdue activities. With our structure in place, it's time to get visual with board views. Use the timeline view to map out each month and prevent overlap, the workload view to visualize your team's capacity, and chart views to convert your data to graphs. With these dynamic views, you can gather meaningful insights in a matter of seconds. Before moving on, let's put our board to work with automations. We'll start by adding this recipe. Once configured, Monday will change the status to stuck if an activity is not done by the due date. We are just scratching the surface, so be sure to check out the many recipes available in the Automation Center. With our project board set, let's take a look at our next board. While the project board provides a high-level overview, this task board allows us to zoom in and manage the details. In this case, groups help us organize what will be done each day, while items represent the tasks needed for each activity. Speaking of activities, here we can tie our boards together with the link to item column. Simply select your project management board, then designate the activity associated with each task. From there, let's pull in stage and status info with our handy mirror columns. Now, we'll see everything we need in one place and can keep things up to date without switching boards. Not bad, right? Last but certainly not least, we have our dashboard. By pulling data from both boards, we can see things like overall progress with the battery widget, total cost from a numbers widget, and where our time is allocated with a chart widget. Dashboards are highly customizable, allowing you to visualize the information most important to you. There you have it. Thanks to this simple yet powerful workflow, you'll be well equipped to manage all of your projects with Monday.com. Click here for more tips on project management and all things Monday.com.